Lucky Thought, and we're here uh, at Standing Rock, and uh, we're here with um, a man I respect, a great uh, leader for our, our, uh, our black allies and relatives, um, this brother, uh, call him Uncle, you know, <laughs> Uncle Cornell West, you know, he come here, so um, I, I told him a little bit about our Pawnee camp, uh, he come here to uh, stand in solidarity with us indigenous people here in this battle, in this struggle, uh, the spiritual battle, and um, well, that spirituality is what, what uh, kept us going, our ancestors going, so brother, I just want to um, ask you, how does it feel to be here? Well, i tell you, I'm just so blessed to be here, stand with my dear brother and the tremendous struggles of the Pawnee people and the ways in which now there's a coming together at sacred fire has been lit, it will remain lit because unity is where the power is. And that unity has to do with being true to the ancestors. That unity has to do with making sure spirituality and prayer remain at the center because prayer is about remembrance, it's about reverence, and it's about resistance. And it produces a revolutionary love that transforms the world. And for me, just to be able to be empowered by the gentleness, the sweetness of the people, the depth of the spirituality of the people, but also the toughness of the people in struggle. 520 years or so, a war began against indigenous peoples, and it is going on this very day, but now the whole world must take notice because of this historic coming together. And I'm just blessed to be a small part of it and to stand here with my dear brother here too. Oh, yeah. I just want to say this is an example of that red and black unity we talk about. Yeah. You know, our struggles are similar. What we went right. through, our people. So all my Akitaro, my people out there, you know, like our black allies, they're with us, you know, and my Seminole people, you know, remember that connection that we had. And this oh, is an example yes. of that, you know. So this is, this is a beautiful day, you know, to be able to be standing right next to Cornell. Cornell West, you know, and so, um, can I share a song for you? Share oh, song? absolutely. <coughs> I want to sing a song here, everybody. <coughs> we have a camp over here. We've been here since the beginning, and uh, I just happened to walk in here. I seen this uh, powerful uncle here, this, uh, this uh, spiritual being here that has helped his people in many ways, and I'm just honored to uh, stand next to him. I know a lot of times as natives, you know, you know, we, we have our, 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 our spiritual battles that we have. My relative here comes from the same spiritual battles. We don't see a lot of our black allies here in camp. And that's one of the things. Oh, yeah. And, I, and I'm happy to see that. You know, I'm happy to see that, that our black allies are coming here. Because that's, that's right. what we wanted that's right. as that's Indian right. people. That's right. You know, of course, our white people will come. They'll be there in a second, you know. They like to squat. Hey, I'm just <laughs> Hey, don't get offended. That's how we do Indians. We like to tease. But we're glad our, our black allies and relatives are here. And uh, for this uncle to be here, you know, just me to walk in and, and everybody out there that's going to watch this, you know, this is beautiful. This is uh, Kitui, you know, and uh, I, I'm thankful, you know, for you. So I want to share this song. Our camp's been here since the beginning. <coughs> I'm Pawnee. God bless you, God bless you. Pawnee, Lakota, and Dakota had a bitter past, you know, but mm. we set aside those massacres that took place upon our people by them. And we said, we'll come here in spiritual unity to stand with this Gididositu, this uh, Missouri River, because it's one of our holiest rivers, mm. you know. And this is a spiritual place. This is a spiritual journey. It's not a oh, place yeah. where you come to experience something. This is a spiritual place. This is a spiritual thing. They say when you go beyond those doors, if you didn't learn something spiritual, then you should have never came in the first place. Mm. And so it's beautiful to see this this man here and uh, to share this song. <coughs> I just want to say, anyway, Tudahe, <coughs> you have to excuse me because I got a cold. <coughs> Being here through this first winter storm, you know, it's been tough with the fever. But we're just enduring as Indian people, Native people. We're just enduring it. Our ancestors are the ones who suffered. You know, so they carried it so that we could be here today. Mm. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> 
hey oh hey oh te pare te hero ke skora chek safaki ate as te ro wa hey oh hey oh hey oh hey oh hey Hey yo, hey da. Hey yo, hey da. Hey yo, hey yo, hey. Oh, wait, ha. Te pare, te hey da. Kes kora, chik sa pakis. Ate yas, te lo wa, hey yo, hey. Oh, oh, wait. Ho. Thank you To all my relatives out here This is Cornell West Representing Showing that love For not just the Pawnee people But for all of our indigenous people To the sacred mini Wachoni The sacred water With this water What she's trying to do for our people She's trying to bring our people back together by the Against this this descendant, this black snake, which is a descendant of a, of a ancient enemy that we fought for hundreds of years that dismantled mm. our homes a long time ago, and now it's trying mm. to dismantle this camp, break apart our people. But we know that this water can bring us back together, like in all ceremonies. So, anyway, Thurahe, Uncle Cornell West, Aho, Mini Wachone! Aho, Thurahe. Well, let's show our love for our brother and our love for the indigenous people. Absolutely. <laughs> 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 <laughs>